Mm-hmm. For the naysayers or the non-believers, right? Mm-hmm. What's the end goal for that? Because what you going you going to do that up until you 40, 50? No, nah, so the end goal is like just to, I mean, social media is just a stepping stool to get to where I really want to be. Where is that? Like, I don't know. I just know I want to, <laughs> I just want to keep going. Okay. Like, um, I never thought I'd be at this point with social media, especially like right now. But, um, like, I definitely want to get into acting. I want to, I'm starting doing music. Um, I want to, I want to get into directing. Um, I mean, a lot of things, bro. Like, I want to do so many things. It's just like to limit my, to limit myself as a social media influencer is crazy to me. Like. <laughs> Yo, it's popping. You already know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J Hill, is in the building. Oh, man, J Hill Podcast. Special, special guest in the building. Theo, we say. Yeah, what's good, man? Theo, we say. <laughs> it's Theo, we say. Yeah, yeah, you said it right. I that said time. it right? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Shit, that's a hard ass name to say. Yeah. Speaking it's of say. Tough. Huh? Say, we say, we say. I don't know where you're going with that. No, I'm just trying to say it right, bro. Yeah, just leave it alone. I'm going to follow up. <laughs> I don't want to get my ass beat in the head, man. <laughs> Shit. But what's good, dog? How you feeling, man? You just drinking out of the bottle like that? No? No cup? Yeah, man. Straight like that, man. I'm feeling great today. How you feeling? Mm. I feel good, dog. What's been, what's been going on in the content world, man? <sighs> in the content world, um, I don't know. I really be in my own world. I just be trying to create uh, my own like original content, stay in my lane. You know what I'm saying? Um... I just dropped a song today. That's really what I've been shit. focusing on. Yeah. What? Like, how long you been doing the music thing? Like, is that something uh, new? That's my first song. Yeah. Well, I just started. What made you want to do that? Shit. I was just like, well, the real story of how it happened. I was um I was sick one day and um I was in this I was in a collab career. We was in this uh, creator house, creator mansion. Mm-hmm. And, um, we had a studio in the basement, and I was just like, man, fuck it, I'm bored. I'm gonna make a song. And then I hopped in the studio with my producer, and I was just like, I'm feeling great today. Started rolling on the beat, and then just dropped the song. And I this made, was in uh, L.A.? No, I'm, this was here. I made this uh, I made this song a year ago. So wait, this because I heard this about this collab crib. I thought it was an L.A. thing. No, no, no. It was Atlanta. We was the first black creator house in Atlanta, or in, in the world, really. But so we, we started in Atlanta. Is this some shit that, like, y'all came up with, or? Yeah. So it's just all type of content creators and y'all. Yeah, we we just uh, our manager put us together really, and uh, we bought a house. Uh, it was a mansion out in Fayetteville. It was a mansion out in Fayetteville. And, um, yeah, we just came together and started like putting a story together. Um, we started collabing with each other and really just working like bouncing off each other because we was all like different types of content creators and stuff like that. So it was like a really diverse group type shit. So yeah, we just ran with it. So do they? Your, your your manager, do they say, do they come to y'all and give y'all challenges and shit like that, or is it uh, just, just let it, I'm thinking too deep into it? Uh, no, nah, I mean, like, he would help us with, like, video ideas and stuff, but really most of the content was just us. Like, we would just come up with, with videos together and, uh, you know what I'm saying, just put them together, execute it, and post them. They'll go viral sometimes, sometimes it wouldn't. You know, same thing as just a regular content creator just as a group now. How, um, I ask all these questions because... I'm ignorant as fuck to this shit. Like, mm. I ain't never know that was a real thing. The first time I ever seen it was on Bel Air. Mm. I Man. thought, you, you watch Bel Air? Uh, nah. So, you from Philly, right? Yeah. So, you know, of course, you know, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, yeah, You ain't see the spinoff? No, I ain't see Peacock? it. No, I ain't see it. I ain't never watched it. That came out, like, recently, though. Yeah. yeah I don't even be watching TV like that. Okay, okay. If so it was I, on Netflix, I probably would have seen it, though. It's on Peacock. Peacock, I think, is what, like, they, they, they do be trying to tax niggas, but whatever, fuck it. Yeah. So. It's cool though. It's it's a dope ass spinoff though. Mm-hmm. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's dope ass spinoff. And uh, the chick Coco, I don't want fucking name up Jones. Coco Jones. Um, she was living in a creator house. Mm. And I'm like, what the fuck is Damn. this? That's crazy. That's yeah. really like modern type shit, man. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. When I say it's it's it's, it's fire, bro. Yeah, like it's tough. lit for real. That's tough. Yeah. It's crazy because when you were saying Philly, right? You was on the interview with um I don't know the dude name. I'm bad with names. Uh, chubby guy, he he no on jumper. a uh, no jumper platform. Yeah, yeah, Fl- uh, Flacco. Flacco, right? Yeah. So, and he, you kept saying Philly, but y'all wasn't talking about Philly. So I'm thinking it's uh, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna tell you what I was thinking. It was what crazy. You, what you thinking? I ain't from Philly. No, I, cause you you kept saying Philly, but then y'all kept talking about um, uh, where you from again? 
Y'all kept some of the African culture. Okay, okay, yeah. We we was both Liberian. Right. Yeah. So I didn't know if you were talking like it was confusing me because he was like you from Philly, but yeah. then he was talking about like your African heritage and your Man. Liberian heritage. So I'm like, wait, what the fuck is a, is a Philly? Yeah, because like, um, so we both Liberian type shit. So we know like even being from Philly, I still grew up in like a Liberian household type shit. So it was like it's not I don't I didn't have the same like upbringing as a regular person just born in Philly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would be in the crib, and I'll be in the African, like, environment, and then I'll go outside, and I'll be in a completely different environment type mm. shit. So, yeah, we both just had that understanding of, like, uh, how it's, like, different being, being like, from, from a foreign household type shit. So, you know what I'm saying? We was really talking about that mainly, but, yeah, I, I grew up in Philly. Um, I lived there from when I was uh, I was born high there. School, right? Yeah, I was born there, and I lived there until I was six, and I actually moved to Lawrenceville when I was six to 11. Then I moved back to Philly when I was uh from 11 to 15, no, 11 to 16. Then I I lived here since I was 16. Bro, that's, cr- yeah. That's, what made you move down here though, like in, in Atlanta? Um, Yeah, so the second time I came down here, I was I had to come down here with my dad because I was getting in trouble with my mom in Philly. You know how it is, like niggas growing up with their mom, single parents and shit, it started, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You just started doing your own thing. So I started getting in a little trouble and shit like that. Kind of like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air type shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I moved down here to a little country town called Dallas, Georgia. Completely different environment. Then I started doing social media, met some social media friends, and uh, yeah, just took off from there. Went up from there. Yeah. Yo, my question, right? How do niggas have so much success across platforms consistently? Cause that's not easy, bro. Man, just being consistent. Honestly, you say like, it like it just. Bro, yeah, like, cause that's that's really it. Like if you consistent with it, like if you consistent with anything, you eventually gonna succeed. Oh, like, facts. Like, as long as you actually, I mean, not anything, not anything, but as long as you actually know you're good at it and you have a passion for it, like, if you're doing consistently, you're going you're gonna to succeed, bro. Like, that's really the main thing I tell everybody. Like, if I was consistent, I wouldn't be where I'm at. The most talented people I know aren't consistent and they don't get the results I get, mm-hmm. even though they they might be more talented than me, but I'm just, like, consistent with it. So, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll be, I'll just consistently, it'll have, like, a snowball effect type shit. Talk to me about, um that consistency right because i feel like one thing that's as that's consistent with creators like like you like special creators i call because like definitely special is everybody always talking about this this need to qu- quit your job i just feel like if if i have a nine to five right hmm. and i have and i'm doing my creative thing and i'm taking it serious do i really have to quit my job i mean it depends like if you have enough time to to focus on that i mean focus on like both things then you don't have to but I did like when I was in, um I graduated high school in 2020, and um I quit my Papa John's job right after I graduated, and just so I could have more time to be focusing on content and stuff like that. So I had started doing DoorDash and stuff, so I can have like flexible hours and shit like that, and uh, go to events and meet people and stuff like that. And like two months after I quit my job, that's when I started blowing up on social media. Mm. So that was definitely like that definitely played a huge part. And if I didn't quit, I probably would not be here right now. But you was you said you was doing like lifting shit, right? Me, I was doing DoorDash. DoorDash, my bad. Yeah, so I had quit my job at Papa John's to start doing DoorDash so I can have more time to do social media. Right. Because it was just like, it would take up too much of my time. I'd be on a schedule. Like, I wouldn't be able to, you know what I'm saying, just decide when I want to work and shit like that. So um, definitely quitting my job helped me, like, get that time so I can focus on doing social media and, and go and meet the people I need to meet and just be in that environment and stuff like that. No, I, hear, I get it because... But I feel like DoorDash is definitely a job, right? And you could yeah. be, you could do it full time. But I definitely think if you had a job, cause I, I don't think it's fair that I always hear people saying quit your job, quit your job, quit your job, because your job can really fund your passion. Yeah, it can, it can. But you know what I'm saying? Like when you have a when you have a dream, like you got to sacrifice something. No, fact, and a lot of times fact. the job is what's holding you back. Like it might even like you might be comfortable at that job. Like you making you making good money. You got a little apartment. You got a little car and stuff like that. So you're not really as driven to go do something with your life because you got that, you know what I'm saying, that security. But sometimes it just take that, like, you know, you got to jump off the porch and just be like, man, fuck this shit. I want to do this. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't, I don't, don't feel good when I go into work every day and I got to, you know what I'm saying, stay here for eight hours and do what I don't feel like doing. That's a you fact. Know what you know what's crazy? Because I think you definitely right. Yeah. I definitely think you got to sacrifice something. But what I think is niggas get them jobs and they get complacent mm. and then they, they don't even want to sacrifice something. Because, like, for me, I think if you – if you want to have a job, this is what I say. If you want to have a job and do your thing, do that. Mm. But you might have to sacrifice some sleep. Yeah. Niggas don't want to sacrifice yeah, exactly. nothing. You got to make some type of sacrifice. You got to make some type of exchange. You, know, you can't just gain everything and not give something. So, 
some type of sacrifice is necessary. Yo, um, I was watching. Uh, what what do you think is the most your most lit piece of content that everybody know you for? Oh, uh, definitely the dad jokes. Gotta be. Gotta be the dad jokes. Gotta yeah. be. Most definitely. That shit, bro. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just. Do you do you think it's funny? At first, I didn't. I ain't gonna lie. At first, I didn't even like it for real, but. Now that I've elevated it, now that I made it so much like more high quality, yeah, it's actually funny now, just because of how 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 much attention to detail I I pay to it. You know, what which I'm saying? is the like, funniest one? Um, probably the ones with the white folks, with the white dudes. As long as you no, know, I ain't crazy. I'm just the, the McFarlands. <laughs> them them my people, man. I love them. I love them folks, man. Bro, what the fuck? So okay, <laughs> let's go into the work and the detail. You said yeah. because of the detail you put into it. Mm-hmm. What detail? Like what? What do you mean? <sighs> like. So, um, so every video like I do has a theme. Like, um, so when the when the trend first started, it would just be like regular people that would tell a joke, smack something, and walk off. But I added like the theme aspect. So first I started with like, um, I think I did some NASCAR workers, and then I was screwing like a, a drag slick tire onto a Mercedes, and then I would like I had the whole NASCAR fit on and shit like that, and I would tell the joke. And then uh, I, now, like the way I do it, like the um, like I said, the, the one with the white folks, it was mm-hmm. pretty much like dad thing. Like we was, we all had the dad outfit, outfits on. We was all it looked looked like we was on a vacation or something like mm-hmm. that. And then um, we were just telling like some funny ass jokes, and then we would, like we would just do some some crazy shit. Like after we tell the joke, like um, I think one of them, one of them, what he did, he he, I smacked the ketchup bottle, and then he threw his hat at me or some shit. But the sound effects and everything just made it go crazy. And then um. I did a, I did one on the top of a mountain, like your boy was saying. I did one on top of a mountain. We had our shirts off, and we just looked like we was some like barbaric. I don't know. It was just I don't know. I just be, I just be thinking this shit. What's the detail behind it? So like for example, you said the um the uh the sound effects and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. So definitely the editing. Like that's I think that's probably what sets me apart the most. The way I edit my videos, and then I pay attention to detail when I film it, like the lighting and the, and the angles, mm-hmm. and um like I always smack a chair. So I smack a chair off something like it. I always make a chair flying in every video type shit. How do you set? So, I'm assuming that when you creating content, right, yeah. it has to be uh, some sort of level of um, what's the word? You you know what you're doing to to make it go viral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, what, yeah exactly. So it's what's like what's the expertise behind going viral in your case? Yeah, so it's just me knowing what what works and what hasn't, what works and what doesn't. Like, um, just pretty much trial and error. Like, when I make a video, I know exactly the key points that's gonna make the video go viral type shit. So What's it's the like, key points? like, I mean, it, it just depends on the video. Really, it's hard for me to explain. But so one thing I always focus on in the video is the first fifteen seconds. Mm. So in the first fifteen seconds of the video, this is really some game. So y'all gotta listen up right here. So the first fifteen seconds, um. When somebody shares your video on a story, it's going to play the first 15 seconds of your video. So that that's like the most important part of the video because the shares is what's going to make it go viral. When people post it and repost it and send it to their friends or whatever, and people have a short attention span now, so like even if they're just watching it on on your feed, the first 15 seconds has to be like like eye catching, like either make them laugh or just have them interested in something. You know what I'm saying? And um, usually I do that by just like I just know what people what people like to see from me. You know what I'm saying? So um, I usually have some type of visual effects going on or some type of um just something crazy going on in the first 50 seconds of my video so have you like you said the dad jokes right at first you didn't yeah. even think it was funny right? yeah at first i didn't think it was funny yeah did you continue to do it because it worked yeah so do you think because i'm i'm gonna I'm tell you what i'm going at but it's just curious for you hmm. if something works even if you don't like it you would say just keep doing it yeah most definitely why because like is. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like I'm still putting my craft and creativity into it. So, like, even if I don't think it's the funniest thing in the world, I know this is what people want to see, and I know this is what is, this is what's gonna get me to where I need to be as far as as far as platforming and audience and stuff like that. So, I'll be willing to do something that I don't really like care for as much. Like, it's it's not like I didn't like doing it. Like, I thought it was cool, but I just didn't think it was as funny as my other content because I know I had a lot of funnier content like going on, but it was just like. That was just what most people wanted to see, so I don't mind doing that until I, you know, what I'm saying, get the platform and continue elevating my other content to where it's like everybody likes to see that as well. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So you saying instead of running from it, right? You keep doing that, but then hopefully yeah. that can filter the people into the content that you really like. Yeah, exactly. Do yeah. you find that hard? 
at, at all any times like when you trying when you, when you when you really got a content that you really want people to fuck yeah, with yeah exactly no nah, it's definitely hard it's like it's a little annoying because like especially on tiktok like tiktok does this a lot um like they 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 want to filter you into posting the content that they want you to post mm. so it's like you'll post like i'll post a dad joke video it'll get like a million views and i'll post something else and it'll get like 20k views or 30 less than 100k views you know what i'm saying like it is it just doesn't make sense so it's like they're clearly like favoritism like they have favoritism over some type of content so it's like the content that i really like won't do good at all but the content that i don't really like will will always do good and it's like a lot of times it's a platform that you're posting it on but sometimes the fans just don't like it as much but um i don't know the way i deal with that is just like i just always try to make my content better you know what i'm saying because that's what i was going to ask you to be honest i feel yeah. like it might because you, you probably have a better um knowledge of it than i do but I don't know. I think it'd be just the people, for example. Like, yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. So I I don't know if I have a formula or not, but I went viral multiple times, right? Mm. And most of the times when I went viral, it was always, like, that guy versus girl, like, just Man. messy shit. You exactly. Know I mean? People love that shit. But it's also the platform. They know what people like to see. But listen, so... I but the the thing about that's why I see I don't know if I agree again I don't know because you probably have more knowledge than me but mm. it went viral on multiple platforms at this point so mm. for like even like TikTok I'm trying to get my TikTok followers up right so I just post mad shit one of the uh, videos the girl saying um, she will pay for a date if she didn't like the dude that shit did a oh, hundred yeah. you know what I'm saying so it's like and that shit did mad views on instagram i done had similar shit on twitter did millions of views and it's like yo what the fuck like, i'm trying to get away from this shit for yeah real. exactly so like in that context if it's like if it's like a bringing like a negative light on your content or your name or something like that then in that case i wouldn't i wouldn't continue to do that but um but like yeah like people like people just like to see that type of shit like, yeah, especially on the internet like people love negativity like it makes it makes people happy to see that somebody else is feeling as negative as they are type shit. That's and, they, and they and they love to just go back and forth with people in the comments and and that's just what works sometimes. But I don't know, I don't know. Definitely the platform will definitely push that more as well because they know right. too. So question: Since you you be getting millions of views, right? Mm -hmm. What do you consider viral now? Viral, um, really? How many like like how many shares it gets? Like how many reposts and shares and stuff like that? Like okay. it doesn't even have to get like millions and millions of views on my platform. Just as, if it's like getting posted everywhere else, then I know it went viral. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know it's crazy because I was um, I've had like videos that did like more views than the videos that been posted on Shave Room. It, like these videos that get posted on Hollywood, all like Shave Room, mm -hmm. all that shit. But it still do a, it do a good number. But I've had videos, other videos that just did more views on my page without being shared is yeah. that still viral or no because it ain't get shared um i mean i, I would consider it viral either way mm. but i just like my standard of viral is when it gets repost because when it gets like because those videos that gets reposted it gets more overall views like i'm not even just looking at my page like i'm looking at the overall views like that makes across sense. all platforms okay yeah some videos I, I did it didn't even go viral on my page but it got crazy views on other platforms okay that yeah. makes sense yo i think viral nowadays is like I don't even think it's a million no more. Yeah, a million views, like especially on TikTok, a million views is cool. Like it's, it's so cool. crazy here, the nigga yeah. that just do millions. Like a million views is cool. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> nigga like me, like a million is fucking lit. But yeah, I've I mean, done it. it depends where you at on your TikTok though. Like, cause I have six million followers on TikTok, so when I get a million views, it's like it's definitely like okay, that video did good. I'm gonna see what like what I did in that video to make it do that good. But it's like I'm not looking at a million views. Like I just went crazy viral. Cause mm -hmm. I got so many millions at this point. One of my videos has almost a hundred million views. I think that's viral, right there. Yeah, that's viral. I feel that's like viral. viral. So one of my homies, his name, uh, Mr. Bankshot or some shit like that, right? I didn't mean to say some shit like that. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> but, uh, he gonna so, be watching this like, damn. No, no, in fact. <laughs> so he was telling me when he went for first one viral, he did 20, 20 million views. Yeah, that's viral. That's viral. That's like, viral. will you get like, if you can get, if you could come up ten. 20k followers yeah that's crazy yeah that's crazy you get a million views you get like five thousand five shit whack yeah like you know what's the the most followers i gained in like two days you better not say no crazy. no i guess this is when my dad jokes first started popping off i gained a crazy amount of followers in two piece. days hell no nah. more yeah <laughs> <laughs>
on what Instagram or TikTok? TikTok, though? TikTok. Oh, you probably, you probably, you got six right now. Mm-hmm. I can see you gaining probably like a million. Yeah, I gained a million followers in two days. I can see that. Yeah, that shit was That's crazy. That's insane. Yeah, that was that was crazy. I went from one million. You hype more. Yeah, I was lit. I was <laughs> lit. I went from one million followers to two million followers in less than two days. Yo, do you ever like celebrate your your um? Yeah, of course. Shares and and great posts. Hell yeah. How do you celebrate? I mean, my posts not really like. If I do a good post, I'll be like, all right, bet like that. I gonna need to keep that going. But when I reach a milestone, like a certain follower count, or I, I get a certain recognition that I wanted, I'll definitely like. I mean, I don't really celebrate like like a like I'm finna do this type shit or I'm finna do that. I just be like, all right, that's that's lit. I'll probably you know what I'm saying treat myself that weekend or go out that weekend or something like that. I don't know, but no, I don't know. I've heard when uh, my man was telling me he didn't choose to get uh to do the monetization on TikTok because they stopped sharing your shit. Is that true or I don't know. I've been I had it on since it came out and I. Um, it came out before I blew up, so I never really looked at it. Wait, like, you could turn it on? Yeah, you could turn it on. It's called I, the Creator Fund. I thought they just, I thought like they uh, offer it to you or some shit like that. No, you can you can turn it on and off. Or you oh, can, no, you, you got to show me that. I think you can accept it and leave it or something like that. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's the same anymore, but I'm pretty sure it's like that. Yo, do you think, so being monetized, speaking of monetization, right? Mm. When well, you making these, these clips on um, Instagram and, and all the platforms you're making it on, do you ever look at your views and look at the money they paying you like, man, they is raping Yes, this. all the time. Bro, they- I be like, bro, this shit is bad. Like, Instagram, they used to, um. so when the Reels Play, when the Reels Play first came out, they was paying me like, so say like, I don't even care sharing the numbers, but uh, so say like every month the amount of views I was getting would generate me probably like $2,000, 2500 a month. Okay. And then they cut that in a fourth. So they made it four times less than what they was paying me so which made it four times harder to get yeah more money. exactly so i had to get four times as much views as to just to get the same amount of money i was getting so say like i was getting 100k views a month now i have to get 400k views a month to get that same amount of money and i was just like damn that's a bullshit because i was like slip relying on that money because you know what i'm saying once you start flowing in it's like okay I bet i can focus on this now but then they just cut that shit out of nowhere and i was like damn they don't even care about niggas for real like does that ever like worry you at all anytime? Because they, because any platform could do that. Yeah, any exactly. Time. Anytime. So it was like that. Definitely opened my eyes and made me think like, all right, I need to actually secure, you know, what I'm saying, secure myself like as an as an individual without having to rely on any, anything else type shit. Mm. You know? How do you do that as an entrepreneur, especially like somebody a content creator? Yeah. So I mean, it's it's a lot of different ways. Um, me like right now I'm, I'm probably working with like different companies and stuff i do different promos and stuff like that i don't rely on the platforms at all really but um like you can also like i, I started doing merch i saw some merch recently um i want to start doing like uh i want to make an ebook mm. um really just having my own streams of income really selling stuff monetizing my followers like you know what i'm saying just selling stuff to my followers um so i think the that's nays- the smartest way my bad i didn't mean to catch you off but yeah. the naysayers or the non-believers right hmm What's the end goal for that? Because what you going you going to do that up until you 40, 50? Nah, so the end goal is like just to, I mean, social media is just a stepping stool to get to where I really want to be. Where's that? Like, I don't know. I just know I want to, <laughs> I just want to keep going. Okay. Like, um, I never thought I'd be at this point with social media, especially like right now. But, um, like, I definitely want to get into acting. I want to, I'm starting doing music. Um, I want to, I want to get into directing. Um, I mean, a lot of things, bro. Like, I want to do so many things. It's just, like, to limit, my, to limit myself as a social media influencer is crazy to me. Like, mm. I, like I'm so talented in so many, so many areas. It's just that social media was the first one to pop off. You know what I'm saying? Like, you give a mad game. Mm, yeah. Let me try. I don't know if you got into this yet, but I, it's worth a shot, right? Mm. What you could do, right, since you're not relying on the social media bread, and it's kind of like free money because you're going to do it anyway, yeah. you should dump all of that money into just little investments. Right, yeah, like that's another thing. When you when you get a check, one check you probably just buy a vending machine. One check you buy an ATM. Never check do, do another vending machine just because you ain't re- relying on it. Yeah. And what happens is hypothetically, if social media ever stop, this not stopping. Yeah, exactly. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm and already money you weren't even worrying about. Yeah, I ain't never thinking like those examples, but I'm definitely thinking in that direction. Yeah. Just, it's just so many like it's so many ways nowadays. It's hard to even just choose one. No, nah, you know facts. Like you get an Airbnb, you can get you can yeah, get a exactly. crib nah, off the ten k type vibes. You feel me? Exactly. And next thing you know, that's why like now, 
because you ain't worrying about it, now when you get the crib, you ain't worrying about the rent that it make, right? But yeah. you're just putting it into a fund. you put it into an account. Now it's, it's, uh, it's compiling over time, you feel me? Yeah, now facts. you got Airbnb, you got fucking uh, ATMs, you got uh, vending machines, and you still got social media, and all that money is going into a, different accounts. Man. Yeah, facts. Nah. That shit go crazy. Nah, that definitely. Shit. Definitely Yo, on that. I wanted to ask you about this shit right here. <laughs> this shit right here. What you gonna pull up? This one right here, bro. So, be real, bro. Mm. Did y'all? Did you? Did you know her? Yes, I did. Ah. <laughs> I, I see now that's it. that's I one of them, that's one of the things like I just I really be thinking and I know exactly what's gonna go viral like that whole video was my idea like word for word type for real? shit yeah like I knew exactly how to make that shit go viral I reached out to her I was like hey I want to do an interview on you I want you to roast me say this say this and she was like bet she killed her performance she killed that shit like to the T and I was like yeah this is gonna go viral that shit hit the shade room so I was talking to um. Does that well? So does that take a, when people find that out? Does it take away from your content being authentic? Because like even for example, I mean, like no, nah, not really. Because you know, they still gonna enjoy it. Mm, I mean, but I feel like the fact that they might like they might think like, oh, this is real, but it's like, um, I don't, it's like watching a movie. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's the level I'm trying to get my content to. The where it's like they know it's obviously not real, but it's like okay. it's just the fact that it's so entertaining. It's gonna make it go viral. That way. makes sense. And not everybody knows who I am when they watch my content, so I'm not really. Because really when I on think that. about it, right? Yeah. It's like the the um the kid who ain't buy all the, the the dude the man who ain't buy all his kids McDonald's. Then we found out it's the skit. Mm. I think it was it was so intriguing because so many oh, people yeah, had yeah. something to say because they like if I was in this situation. But once yeah. you find out that it's a skit, it's like every time I see anything online now, anything that people arguing, I'm like, man, yeah. this is a skit. This is yeah, shit. so that that whole trend about people arguing and getting into these interactions and shit like that, and it's a skit. I don't like that. I don't like that. But when it comes to like an interview, like it's clearly like I'm interviewing people in like a playful way. Like they clearly we're on camera. You know what I'm saying? I got a microphone to your face. This is clearly not authentic. So you know like on a scale of one to ten, like how bad yeah, I beat yeah, your ass type shit. Like exactly. That's... Like it's not hundred percent authentic. It's not like I'm just walking up to you and like I'll beat your ass. I you know thought, what I'm saying? but but that's I think like it's I don't, nostalgic I don't, because yeah. we don't know. We think that exactly. it could be real. But no, nah, most of my interviews, that was probably one of the only ones I planned out. Like, let me think. I think that's that's probably the only one I planned out up until that point. But like, like when they, when you're on camera and you got a microphone to your face, it's like it's like I don't know. It's just it's not the same as somebody just walking up to you and saying, I'll beat your ass. It's like they're clearly on camera, so this can't be 100% real, but they still don't know what I'm about to ask them when I say that question. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like I'm just catching you completely off guard. Like, you're already on camera type shit. Okay, that makes sense. You, know what I'm you ain't never had nobody. Because some niggas, when that camera hit, some yeah. niggas really be trying yeah, yeah. flex. But I'm just, I'm just funny. Like, you can't really be too mad at me in, in, in person. Okay. I don't know. Nobody, nobody ever got mad at me. That's... Do, uh, one time G Herbo looked like he got mad. You seen that video? I watched it with G Herbo, but I it wasn't an interview though. I just I just put the camera on him. I was like, how bad we gotta beat your ass? And then he was like, my son beat your ass. You didn't see that? Yeah. And that in that moment was you scared? Not really. At first I was like, damn, you really mad? Then I turned the camera off, and then he had dapped me up, and I was like, oh, I this nigga here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, this nigga here, but no, nah, I wasn't really scared. I was just like, damn, this nigga really just got mad at me. Like, and I and I did the interview on him before, so mm -hmm. I was kind of confused if anything. But yeah, he was like, my son beat your ass, and I was like, who him? He was like, yeah, say something about my son. I will beat your ass right now. I was like, damn, nigga, what's up, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> damn, <laughs> I, ain't even, I wasn't even talking about your son. I'm talking about you. <laughs> Yo, that'd be nah, crazy, bro. But no, nah, he was cool though. I seen him the next day too. He was just chilling and shit. He went. You went, you know what I'm saying. So, would you call yourself a comedian or? Um, I call myself an entertainer. Okay. So, is yeah. it is it safe to say a content creator? Um, yeah, at the moment. So. Um, yeah, content creator. People who do what you do, right? Like, do the interviews with the, with the phone and shit like that. Give me your top five funniest ones on Instagram right now. People who do what I do. Yeah, similar. Like. No, I don't even know. Like I think of like. Glow Jays, he don't do what you do, but like yeah. he had the phone up to the. But like when it comes to, I'm definitely like the top nigga when it comes to. So the give interviews. me top five. 
I don't even got a top five. I don't even like only funny person. Marco. Okay, funny. Okay, okay, yeah. Funny Marco definitely. Funny Marco definitely. When it comes to the interviews and stuff, I don't really know too many people that do interviews. Like it's ma- it's people that do. So let's let's just for sake of um lack of better words, so we don't confuse people who do all of it, like recording in Walmart. Uh, it could be walking up to you face to face, shit like that. Mm. All of that. Let's categorize it together. Categorize mm-hmm. it together. Top five. Instagram entertainers. Okay, okay. So definitely for you, Marco, because I know his content is authentic. Um, myself. Mm-hmm. Um, huh. I don't know. I know the dude Chris Too Smooth, the dude that be raining people's outfits, but I, I don't him. really, I don't really think he's too funny. Well, I just let's think say, it's just like it's cool. Let's scrap funny then. Top five best ones, favorite ones. Damn, I don't know. You putting me on the spot. Come on, man. You don't I don't like be. It. I don't really be paying attention too much. I just, I be seeing it, but I'm just like, man, these niggas not fucking with me for real. But it's just like you can't be mad at that. I mean, I I still it. watch their stuff and I'll enjoy it. But when I say like when you say like top five, I don't even be like ranking them in my head or nothing like that. Okay, there's not really too many content creators I actually enjoy. Um, when we, when you say just top five best content creators, yeah. All right, so definitely Drewski. Okay. Um, Funny Marco. Uh huh. Desi Banks. Uh huh. Um, Country Wayne. Okay. Um, myself. That's um, not a bad one. Yeah, that's, that's, that's five. five. That's five right there. So, excluding yourself, right? Out of those five, who's the best? Number one. Best. All time. Just that just making straight funny shit, probably Drewski, because he's the most relatable. Okay. He knows what people want to see, and, like, he's, like, really, like, he, 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 got, he got his, like, craft to, like, a T type shit. Okay. I fuck with Drewski. I fuck with Drewski. I fuck with, I fuck with Country Wayne Grind. Like, I don't really watch too much of his shit. Yeah. But the nigga worked that nigga, hard yeah. as a motherfucker. That nigga worked hard. And that's that's really, like, where I... Like idolize him at, like I see like how consistently he like he do his shit and how like how much he been scaling his shit for years. Mm. Like he got so many series and characters and stuff like that in his skits. And Desi Desi Banks too. Desi nah, Banks Desi, is funny as well. Yeah. Desi fire. Like, I fuck funny. with I fuck with Desi, but I used to also fuck with B Simone too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't fuck with B Simone like. So. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. No, nah, B Simone cool. I ain't never I never really thought she was. Too funny though. I mean, like, That's no disrespect right to her. There. No disrespect to her at all. That's a but clip. like, be Simone, she's definitely cool. Like, she definitely did her thing. I just never personally like, like, really watched her and like laughed at her shit. For, like, for real, just because I never really like watched it for real. You know what I'm saying? You just said the same thing. Basically, she ain't funny. No, I just never really watched it for real. But like, you this, said I ain't never look at her shit and laugh. I mean, like, just the stuff I seen. I ain't gonna say she's not funny because she definitely like a funny person. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and no, she's actually one of those people that. A lot of girls get their personality from. Mm. Like a lot of girls have a be some own like, like clone personality. Facts. It's like a, it's like that city girl shit. Yeah, like yeah. They, exactly. That's probably why I don't think she's funny because I just look at that shit and I'm like, mm. Mm. I'm like, mm, you started this. <laughs> like, <laughs> just look at it. Like, oh, like, yeah. But no, I definitely got respect for her and like what she does in the industry. Okay. So it was something that was really interesting, and I thought that. I didn't even think that y'all would have this conversation. You you were saying like, not you, your homie. I forgot um, the license. Uh, guy. Noah, no man. Yeah, I was having a conversation about the the prejudice on social media versus white creators and black yeah. creators. You really believe that? No, nah, most definitely. Mm, most that's definitely. I mean, like in our community, especially in Atlanta, it's hard to see it. But like when you go out to LA. Like, like it's just straight white creators, bro. I mean, it's it's some black people there too, but it's like the companies, like they'll like especially when you hear about the pay, the pay, the pay difference between us and them, especially over here in Atlanta and over there in LA, it's crazy. Like the same promos I get for five thousand dollars, they'll pay this a white person with less followers than me, like twenty, thirty thousand dollars for the same exact thing, but and they'll probably reach out to them first. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But um. Like it's it's definitely a thing. We we done a whole we got we got a Hulu documentary on it. We got multiple articles on it. New York Times article, Damn. all kinds of shit. Yeah. And that's what I wanted to have that conversation because I don't re- I'm not in that space. But before you even get to the brands, right? What about on social media? Because you were saying like yeah. they even promote it differently. Yeah, exactly. So um, 
So a perfect example, my boy Cool As O'Neal, he was like, he created the dance. Like, you ever heard uh, the song Vibes by Lil Baby? And the dance go like this. Like, yeah, mm. yeah, 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 he, yeah, he created that dance and never got credit for it because some, um, like, some white creators came and took the dance and blew it up and got 100% credit for it. And, like, you know what I'm saying? They probably got hella brand sponsorships from it. And their videos would get so many more views. And even the Renegade, like, when the Renegade dance came out, Charlie D'Amelio just started doing it. She didn't really mean to take credit for it, but when she did it, her videos would just get so many more views than the actual creators of it. You know what I'm saying? Just because, like, I guess it just looked better for their app. So, like, when other when other people from, like, other places look at the app, they're not just seeing all black people because, you know what I'm saying? It's just, like, they, they put this image on this type shit. But... Like it makes sense on why they would think like that. Like I don't blame them, but I'm just like I'm just like nah, that's fucked up. Like it's nah. crazy because I never even thought of that. But I have you ever spoken to a white creator and they admitted it? Like I like we spoken to white people and they be like nah, mm-hmm. racism definitely exists. Have you ever spoken to a white creator and they was like nah, I can see it too. No, nah, they can what? Like they can see it. it was like, oh yeah, yeah. Um, power off. Who was that? It was a speaker. Oh, um. I don't I don't think I have spoken to a white creator about that subject, but like it's definitely there. Like I see it all the time. Um like literally every trend that comes out, probably not as much anymore, but definitely when a trend comes out, like somebody can come and do the bare minimum and get crazy views when like it's a lot of creative black people actually trying to, you know what I'm saying, get up there and they're just not pushing their stuff. But now it's definitely a little bit better because TikTok actually came out and said that they were actually doing that. Wow. They said that uh, they and they apologized for it and they did a whole they did a whole thing. It wasn't really nothing too crazy, you know. They just apologized and do a, give them a little thing, a little pat on the back or something like that, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, TikTok actually came out and said they were doing that, like kind of shadow banning people of colors, uh, they videos can, and stuff. They like that. said that, yeah. And ain't shit happened. Um, I mean, they they did something. I forgot exactly what they did, but they did some type of reparation or something like that. Um. I don't know, but even now, like, a lot of people's pages are getting deleted for no reason. Like, I know so many people's pages that got deleted for literally no reason. They can't get it back. They'll have, like, half a million followers and get, get their shit deleted. Almost a million followers get their page deleted. I seen somebody, I seen. I actually seen uh, DDG respond to somebody who was talking about how YouTube was um, prejudiced against black creators because, I guess, um he did the same exact video as a white creator or whatever, yeah. and they um they gave him limited ads or something like that, right? Yeah, they do that on YouTube as well. And they said that he was saying that um they sent it to he sent it to, to for, for for review, and they denied it. So mm. he sent it to like one of his YouTube connects or something like that, and they they denied it again. But then mm. he sent the video of the white creator with the same exact video, and then they actually accepted it because they was like, okay, we see that it's. It's mm, not, um, yeah. if anything, he's like, yo, I'm more pissed off that he's like, if anything, people say he should be happy. But like, now nah, I'm more pissed off as because if it's supposed to be limited ads, if you see his, at least make both of us limited ads. But now you seeing his and it wasn't limited ads after you denied me multiple yeah. times and then you make mine. Yeah. That's so, crazy. Yeah, that's what they do. Like, and the same thing on TikTok, you'll post a video, the same exact video as a white creator and yours will get deleted. Like, even like, it's my, my page is so bad right now. Like, if I post a video with some cuss words in it, my shit will get, they will take the sound off mm-hmm. or something like that or just delete the video or it will have zero views for hours and then it will, they will post it finally and it'll get like 10K views or something like that. They like, I don't, I don't, I really don't understand it. That's why I don't post on TikTok as much. I just, I don't even fuck with that whole energy. I don't even want to, you know what I'm saying, be, be like have to conform to, to a certain type of content. I just want to make what I want to make. You know I've recently been trying to do the TikTok thing and a lot of my videos got cursing, cursing in it. So like, they take the sound off of like literally almost every video, so yeah. I gotta just delete it. Like, what the that shit fuck? is bad. I don't, I don't understand it. Did you ever try to just censor the content, or it, it just wouldn't be as funny? I guess. Um, I mean, I would, but it's like I feel like I feel like I did that before, and it's, it was still the same result. Damn. So, do you think black creators? I don't know if you ever heard of uh <clears throat> King Botch. King, King Botch? Botch, yeah, King Botch. So, I might be wrong, and help me out if I'm ignorant to, towards it because I'm not 100 percent knowledgeable on it. It seems like he make more content for a white demographic. Mm. Um, no, you don't see that? Am I wrong? I wouldn't say white demographic. I would just say he makes content for like for everybody. 
like he started off making like like you know what I'm saying black jokes like stuff stuff that exclusive to like black people they would get like watermelon jokes and Jordans and shit like that. But as you get into the industry, you just realize that like it's so much more than just black people. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You yeah, don't you sure. don't just gotta make content for black people. And that's what I'm realizing as well. Like that's why I'm trying to um I'm really trying to branch off and like you know what I'm saying open my mind to different cultures and stuff because I want to be internationally known. I don't I don't just want to be known by black people because. Black people don't support you as much as other people would. Mm-hmm. Like people in other countries, they they love my shit probably more than black people. But you know that's so. I ask that because just thinking about it, right? Could it be, of course, prejudice, or could it be that a lot of the content, the black content creators, are only making, they only creating content for a, a certain demographic, and mm-hmm. it's not spreading as as wide. Yeah. Because I seen King, I see King Botch, and his shit. I personally don't think is that funny, but it be getting. Crazy, like yeah. it should be going crazy. Yeah, so um, yeah, I definitely think like it has to do. It has to do with like the prejudice, but like I don't, I don't blame him for the content that he make or the direction that he's going. Just because like 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 I said earlier, it's working. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying like at the end of the day, you trying to make money out of this. You trying to, you know, what I'm saying you trying to go up. You're not just gonna do content that you that you think is funny. You're gonna do what's working at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying, but no, that makes um, sense. But yeah, his his content is definitely like King Bash is one of them niggas as well. Like yeah, nah, he's definitely going crazy. Like he's one of the Godfathers of like the influencer. Nah, shit. for sure. And I don't, uh, but I don't think it's funny at all. Like, but his mm. content is so crisp. That mm. shit fire. Like man, yeah. the the quality of it is fire. Yeah, most definitely. What do you think the hardest platform to cross over was? Hardest platform, um, I would say YouTube. It I'm gotta trying, be. I'm I'm trying to go to YouTube, sweet. man. <laughs> I gotta the be. YouTube shit. I don't even like. <clears throat> If I if I was consistent at it, I would do it. I like, I would be there right now. Like I would have a million for uh, a million subscribers on YouTube, but it's just that like I don't know what it is. It's just like that shit is hard, bro. It's just like I feel like making good content on YouTube is harder. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Because you gotta be you gotta. It can't just be like the phone quality. Yeah, exactly. It gotta be the camera quality with the cuts that you make with the exactly the tedious stuff that you think about. Yeah, but I wouldn't even do that type of content on YouTube. It's just like. Like, I would do a completely different type of content, like, more, like, lifestyle and more just me and my raw personality. But I don't know what it is. I guess it's just, like, you got to use a camera and you got to edit all the videos. And it's not like you could just post a little reels and shit and it's a trend and it's going to go up and shit like that. You actually you can do... I ain't going to lie to you, bro. So you won't make money from it, but you can do shorts. shorts. Yeah, I do shorts. And that yeah. shit go crazy. Yeah, my videos go stupid on shorts. How many subscribers you got on YouTube now? Uh, I grew from 50K to almost 500K from shorts. Yeah. So I'm already known. I'm already on that. Bro, don't tell me about <laughs> it's hard to cross over. No, nah, but it's like it's not it's not the same as actually having like genuine subscribers. Like it's kind of like TikTok followers at that point. You can have a lot of followers on TikTok, but they're not your real fans. Yeah, like I'm trying to have people just like sit there and watch a 20 minute video of just me talking. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the hard part. That's like when I think of YouTube, that's what I'm thinking about. No nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Like this podcast shit is definitely it's hard. It's yeah, like, exactly. It's hard as shit. Yeah, I'm already knowing. I was thinking about starting one, but I was like, man, let me just focus on my content. Yeah, I mean, if you need some help, bro, I got you, dog. You no, most up. definitely. Not for sure. I mean, you could just pull up, set the cameras up. Man, yeah, but that's definitely something later, though. I wanna, um, I'm gonna grow my fan base a little bit more. How often would you say you post on like social media? Um, a different piece of content. New piece of content. I try to post like twice a week. Mm. Um, like yeah, and when I'm in my flow, my creative flow, I probably have like two, two good videos a week. Yeah. How much time do it take you to to come up with those videos? It depends. On a good video, what I consider like a good quality video now, um, it depends what type of video it is. Like if if I need to edit it or just like a skit, I just turn on the camera and act it out. Mm. Um, I don't know. It really just depends on what type of video it is. Or a dad joke video would definitely take a lot more preparation and a lot more editing and stuff like that than a, just, just a skit. Like I did a um, you seen that skit I did with the guns. Um, when somebody get when somebody get their first gun, did I see that one? He be showing me all this shit. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if I seen that one. Yeah, so I did that one. It probably took me like thirty minutes to film, and that one actually went up. That one got like a hundred k likes on Instagram. So that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of time. Thirty minutes. No, that was that was that was short. Okay, that was, that was a short one. Thirty but minutes. But a dad joke video, like I would have to go and buy the whatever outfits I'm gonna be wearing. Or like the one on the mountain, I had to like I didn't I didn't drive up to the mountain for it, but I had to you know what I'm saying I had to get to the mountain and I had to prepare the jokes and stuff like that, get the scenes get the scenes right, 
and we had to we got to do it multiple times to get it. You know what I'm saying? You get it the best we can. So stuff like that would probably take like an hour, and then another hour and a half, two hours of editing, and then I'll probably watch it like a hundred times before I post it, just so, to make sure everything's straight. How do you feel about? Because at first, I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't like this at, at one point. How do you feel about going viral? Is that it's we? So we asked about what's viral, but mm. is going viral actually a good thing? Yeah, I mean, if you're trying to, and if you know what comes with it, like. Going viral, like that's that's the whole goal. You know what I'm saying? Once you get once you get those eyes on you. Now that I realize, like when I first started, I was just trying to go viral and then get brands to look at me and stuff like that, which I still am. But now it's it's like it's like a science to it. Like the way I structure my videos, I make it marketable. Like I make sure like a brand can look at this and be like, Oh, I can put my company in here, I can put my logo in here and reach out to this person and uh pay them for this for this video. Like I do shoot promos and stuff. Like them sneaker skits I do, like them be promos, mm. and it's like it's really good content. And if you don't even like think about it, you won't even know it's a promo right. type shit. So that's what I'm looking at when I post a video now. So it's like, um, and then I also know exactly what's what's gonna make a video go viral as well. So it's like I'm I'm thinking about it a lot more. But yeah, so that's that's definitely the whole goal of. I, like, I think I say I don't really. I was saying I don't like going viral because depending on what you go viral for, like I said, I'll be going viral for like. Just me and the girl back and forth. It'd be jokes. It'd be funny. But what happened is now they come to my page to see that. And he's like, bro. I had people be like, bro, you got to take over. Uh, Once Kevin Samuel passed away, like, bro, it's your turn to take over. I'm like, bro, that's not even the content that mm-hmm. I make. Like, we just be joking, yeah, but that's not my vibe. You feel me? Yeah, so, exactly. And then I'll go viral. I remember when I first crossed uh, being a Q, being Omega and shit, I was doing neck rolls and shit. And I went viral for that. But now people come in, so many people come to my page looking for that. I went viral mm. for doing freestyle. So many people kind of. So that's why, I, like, yeah. I really ain't really like going viral because it'd be different audiences. Like you said, TikTok. Yeah, exactly. They come for one thing, and that's not who I am. I'm not just one thing. Exactly. So the thing with that, like, since you're so diverse with your content, you just got to just, like, keep out putting out, keep, like, keep keep on putting out different content. Mm. And they're going to get used to seeing, like, probably, like, three or four different things. And you can, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just get comfortable with those three or four or five different things and slowly add on more stuff until you just, like, and so you just a face they want to see at that point. Mm. Like that's I feel like that's where I'm getting at at this point because I first went viral off the interviews, and then the dad jokes, and now a lot of my skits are starting to go viral, and a lot of my little TikToks be going viral here and there, and stuff like that. So now it's just like when people see my face, they just like you know what I'm saying they they want to see the video. Mm. But it's gonna it's gonna take a long it's gonna take a long time to get to that point. But once you get there, it's gonna be like you know what I'm saying the the reward is gonna be great. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Damn, man, I feel like it's so much shit to learn in this this content space, bro. Yeah, man, I'm like, still learning. This don't you crazy? You ever think you ever wish? Well, you you got a formula, but you ever like sometimes I I be um in my space. I'm like, man, I just wish I had. I wish I had it figured out. Cause I'm still figuring it out. I was like, I wish yeah. I had it figured out. Well, you ain't never gonna just have it figured out. You are gonna have something figured out, but it's always gonna be something that you just trying to get to. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like. Two years ago, you was probably look if you look if you saw where you was at right now. Oh yeah, for you'd sure. be like, damn, for sure. Like how I get here? Like I got this shit figured out for sure. But now you hear you like, damn, I don't even got this shit figured out. Even yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Even the places that we put ourselves in, right, and the people we surround ourselves with matter so much, right? Mm, I was yeah. telling somebody years ago. I'm like, bro, if you put if you surrounded yourself, right, like hypothetically, it might be a wild scenario, but if you stood in a trash in a, in a dumpster, and no piece of trash touch you, but you surrounded by trash, you're gonna eventually smell like trash. Yeah. Right? So it, it, and I was just saying that like now that I'm in Atlanta, I'm surrounded by so many creatives and everybody is lit. So it's like all of my interviews is with somebody lit because that's all I have to be surrounded around. Yeah, exactly. It's just crazy, bro. Nah, you definitely you become who you surround yourself with. And and what you and what you um cause it's like not even just who you surround yourself with, what you surround yourself with. Facts. So like what you watching, even what you eating type shit. Like, mm. like you gotta watch what you eat because that shit is gonna is gonna reflect in different types of ways. Do you ever be frustrated with the litness? And what I mean by that is like you know. Man, like- I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> like sometimes I just want to go to the store and just be in like just be in peace and niggas be trying to. Oh, you the I I. I just be like man, yeah. What's up, man? Yeah. But um, and then you gotta be nice because you don't want them to. Yeah, exactly. Like it's important. Like, it's just like I I love it. Like I love getting recognized because it's like that that just reminds me like all right I'm actually doing something out here. People tell me like how much they they look up to me, how much I inspire them and shit like that. But sometimes I just don't be in the mood to even like 
look at nobody yeah, type I shit. And people and like sometimes people just don't have boundaries when it come to when it come to seeing me and shit like that. I'd be like, yo, like you gotta chill out. Bro, like, I'll oh. see somebody. One time I saw somebody in this um it was like like a month ago probably. I seen somebody in public and he was like he had been drinking clearly and he was like I I, he was like, hey, it was good, man. I dapped him up. He held my hand. He was trying to, like, hold on to me type shit. He was like, hey, come over here. Look at this. This is the art dude. And I was just like, yo, chill out. Like, relax. He's like, the whole restaurant looking at me and shit. Now I'm like, bruh. I damn near felt like leaving. I had just walked yeah. in that bitch. You got to get security And now. I was with a whole girl and shit. I ain't trying to be seen out that motherfucking nigga. What's up with you? <laughs> What's up with you? But not even that, right? Like, or, like, you know what I used to I hate? Because I used to do parties a lot, right? And I would hate when somebody know me. And I guess I supposed to know them. I don't like some people. Be, yes. People be entitled as a motherfucker. They be like, "Oh, he act like he ain't know nobody." Or they'll say something on social media. I'm like, "Bro, what the fuck?" Like, like I seen Jay yeah. like he ain't know who I was. I'm like, "Bro, I really didn't. I yeah. don't know who you are." All the bro. time, everybody like, they be, be like, oh, "You don't remember me?" I be like, "Nah, bro, I'm bad with faces." Like, what's your name again? I'm like, nigga, we met like four times. I be like, "I don't know." Like, like I mean, me and so many people every and day. And the niggas get so emotional behind it. It's Man. like, bro, like, I'm not remember you on purpose. Like, bro, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm not no weird ass nigga. Like, like, especially like, if I, if I know you and I actually know you, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be weird to you. Like, I'm going to dap you up. Be like, hey, what's going on? Nice to see you, bro, blah, blah, blah. Chop it up. But if I don't know who you are, I don't know who you are. And like, that's okay, that's, bro. Just, like, <laughs> I just don't remember. I meet a lot of people. You got to understand. Facts. Or, like, even, like, I'm not going to lie to you. So, for me, I just got out here almost a year, right? And when I say, when I originally when I say being tired of the litness, it's like, sometimes I do want to just be around genuine love, right? Yeah. I feel like in, in this space, sometimes we get so immersed in work. It's like all we surround ourselves with is people like-minded. But now it gets exhausting because it's like every day of my life is work. Yeah, like, sometimes we want to be... You, just chill and have fun with my dope, my, my, yeah, exactly. my homies. Your homies, yeah. Everybody always wants something from you. Mm. Especially with me. Everybody want me to do a video, like, every day. Every, every time I see somebody, it's like, when are we going to do a video? And some people ask me, like, when am I going to do a video with them? Like, when am I going to put them in the video? When they gonna, when I'm going to interview them? Like, nigga, like, why would you even, what makes you ask me some shit like that? Bro, but not even, yo, you know what's, bro, it be niggas that don't even do this shit, right? Exactly. That, like, so, a nigga be like, like the podcast shit, when you gonna have me on a podcast, bro, what do you do? Exactly. What do you mean? Like, like, and and, and then it be like, or, and it, it's just like, I don't mean nothing by it, but it's like, yo, why you, Man. don't give me that, because you, now you making it weird. Yeah, why can't exactly. we just be cool? Now like, you gotta make me be like, nah, like. Right. Like, I hate that I, shit, bro. Like, it's I like, hate bro, like, shit. why you ask? Before you met me, when, what, what Show me one podcast you was on, bro. Yeah, exactly. Show me like it's like, bro. Why are you doing that with me, dog? Like, don't make me say no. Like, like, like I, ha oh, I hate that Man. weird shit, bro. Like, that's and then shit. you just got you got a bullshit number. You be like, yeah, we gonna get it in one of these days or some shit like that. But, See, I don't be bullshit. Like, niggas, I'm real, be, like some no. niggas they ask me that shit like consistently. Every time I see them, it's like, when you going when you gonna do an interview on me, bro? Let's let's do an interview. I'm like, all right, bet let's do it. Where your phone at? And then they're like, oh no, I want you to do an interview on me. And I'm like, oh, so you what? want me to do an interview, edit it, and post it on my page and tag you. What do I get from it? Exactly. What do I gain from that? Like, niggas, niggas be like, out of this fucking world, Niggas is bro. insane. Like, and it's getting worse. Like, it's getting worse. Niggas be, st like, I say, if you got something going on, cool, I get it. Even if you're not as lit as me, I can understand and I'm, I might can respectfully decline. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't have nothing, like, it, bro, come, that's disrespectful Man. at this point, bro. Exactly. It's disrespectful. <laughs> it's like you don't like you clearly see who I'm interviewing now. You're just gonna ask me for an interview like it's just nothing. Like no, I'm sorry, my brother. My bad. I, that shit just got me tested. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, no, that shit is funny. All right, back. Can we do an interview after this? Huh? Can you, can you throw me up on the page after this to do an interview? Oh, yeah, we gonna get in one of your days. When I get a haircut, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> With you, bro. No, man, but now I appreciate it. It was a great conversation, man. Um, is there anything that you work on that you that, um that you promoting anything that we didn't touch on? Um, at the moment, not really. Uh, my song, I'm definitely promoting that right now. I got a lot of content coming out with that uh, very soon. Um, are you gonna try to force that on people though? No, I ain't really forcing it. I mean, I'm gonna force it in a way, but I ain't gonna just be like, yeah, I'm a rapper now, I'm an artist, blah blah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't do it like that. But um, I'm gonna definitely put it in their face for sure. Mm. For Yo, sure. I know what I supposed to be wrapping up and shit. Being a content creator, right? Is you, I feel like sometimes we be in this space of like you know, 
at wardrobe, right? We gotta we gotta impress niggas because that's what attract people, right? Mm. Are you there or were you there ever ever there at that point? Like, man, when I do a video, I gotta be drippy. I gotta be dripped down. Um, it depends what video. Like, sometimes I'll get dressed up for a video, and sometimes I'll just be like, man, it's whatever. Mm. But it just depends on like, like, um, like the look I'm trying to go for in the video, like. Like how I say, like I know what's going to go viral. So I know if I have one on drippy outfit, it's probably going to make it more viral. Or if I don't have one, like nice clothes, it's going to make it go more viral. So and yeah. that's what I was about to ask. Does it really matter though? Like, cause I feel yeah, like sometimes does. we put we put so much emphasis on like I'm gonna do a podcast. I gotta be flea. I gotta be flea. I gotta be fresh. Man. And honestly, if you give a good content, I was like, eh, it really, yeah, it does. it does. You just gotta know how you like. You just gotta see yourself in a third person perspective mm. on whatever you're doing type shit. So it's like. Say I'm doing a podcast and I'm dropping knowledge on people. Like I'd rather have on some drip because they gon' they gonna look at me like I'm actually like I know what I'm talking about because I look good. Okay. But if I'm just doing something like I don't know, um, say I'm doing a video where, um, where I'm going back and forth with somebody or something like that. Not not one of them you talking about, but say mm-hmm. I do like a skit or something. And I'm just going back and forth with somebody about a charger or some shit like that. I'll just put on some regular ass clothes like we just in the crib chilling or some shit like that. Um, it, just, it really just depends on the video, honestly. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I promise that's it, bro. I know I'll be having a lot of nah, questions. Sure. Niggas nah. always be like, oh, you got a lot of questions. Like, it's an interview, nigga. No, nah, it's I'm, I'm with the questions. No, nah, I appreciate it, dog. That's all I had. Uh, mm, I'm going to try it again. Mm. Theo Wissa. No. That was close. Damn. Theo, we say. We say. We say, yeah. We say. Yeah. You said say. We say. We say. Yeah. Theo, we say. Yeah, something like that. Whatever it is, man. Uh... My guy Theo would say, fuck it. J Hill Podcast, man. That's a wrap, man. I appreciate you for pulling yes, us up. Yes, sir. For sure. Oh, appreciate oh, no, you for man. having me, man. That was great, man.